Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today, I hope. Okay, we're starting with the Nine of Swords. And uh, Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air Signs. So you see the man here sitting up in bed, hands, uh, head, and, head and hands. There's worry here, there's stress, there's anxiety. You could be feeling guilty, but this is the kind of stuff that keeps you up at night. It makes me think of the Queen song, Under Pressure. Um, where you feel it and it's like the pit in your stomach. So there's something going on for you this week that causes you maybe to have a sleepless night or two. It, you can't quite shake it. And the good news is that this is temporary. You know, this is, we, we have these moments. And with time and with uh, perhaps getting out of bed and getting back to our normal routine or uh, keeping ourselves busy with projects or, or other things or social activities that we can try to mitigate this or lessen the impact of feeling stressed out, feeling very worried about something. The good news is that Following this worry is, here's the star card. And the star card is a major arcana. And you can see she is without her clothes. And, you know, when you're hanging out there with no clothes, it means that you are not hiding anything. And that you're open and that you are vulnerable. That you're not holding back. And pouring the water into the pond and onto the grass, you know, it's about finding the, uh, the the balance and the and the flow between the physical self and the spiritual self. And so, thinking about how to get back to a place of healing and of feeling happy and to feel joyfulness. Well, it takes some peace. It takes some rest, perhaps. It takes good practices of getting enough sleep, eating healthy, doing some things like yoga or meditation or uh, ec a lot of exercise, time in nature. The big message of this card for the week and for you is that you know we wish upon a star, and the star we, we get take our guidance from the stars. So have faith in the future. Have faith in uh, the path to come and what the universe is going to deliver. This is a card of having hope. It's not so much of a do-do-do, do card or action card. It's much more of a patient card of a, pa a passivity to allow yourself to heal and to recover. To regain strength, we often see the star after a challenging period. So, you know, here's the star after the worry that something has been keeping you up at night. So now let's choose two cards for guidance. And that one just wanted, these two wanted to come right out. Oh, my goodness. So we have the Queen of Cups, Unconditional Love, Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So whether this is someone that you can turn to, who's in your circle, or this could be attributes that you would uh, be benefiting from, or perhaps showing yourself, the, this queen is about uh, unconditional love, loving others, being intuitive, tuning in and really listening. This is someone that you would call when you're in times of need, when you're like having an emotional hard day. The Queen of Cups would be someone that you would want to spend time with because she's going to understand where you're coming from. She's intuiting these things and uh, she's not going to be putting a lot of pressure on the friendship or the relationship. She's there to support, there to provide love with, with no questions asked. So it seems that you're going to need some love because even with the sense of optimism and faith, 
you're going to have to let something go. You're going to have to let something end. This illustration with the ten swords in the man's back, it really is overkill. We know that one sword would do a tremendous amount of damage, but this is like really like over the top. And so what does this say? This says that we've hit the bottom and it's only looking up from now because we can't get any lower. Things can't get any more challenging or be any more difficult than they, than they were. What you have to focus on is the horizon, the yellow in this illustration. that the blue leading into the yellow is that you have to let something die, you have to let it end. You will then be able to put the pain and the suffering behind you and then you can move forward. You need some support, someone to show you some love as you're having these challenges and to be supportive of you and you can't lose your hope. You may want to lose your hope, but you really have to keep hope alive. You have to have faith that the universe is going to put you in the right place. It's not, it may be not going to be easy, and there may be some pain involved and some disappointment, but you're going to ultimately pave the way for something better, a new cycle to begin, a clear horizon. So now let's choose... Uh, two cards for possible outcomes. Okay, so we have the Empress Major Arcana. And this is another uh, feminine energy full of love and support and caring, which is probably what is needed for the week based on what we see. The Empress is surrounded by comfort and appreciates the abundance and counts her blessings. Uh, she this can, for some, this could speak to fertility, wanting to have a child. For others, it's about your ideas and that you are trying to nurture your ideas and you're trying to perhaps bring them to the marketplace or bring them to fruition. And this is about caring and concern and love. So, you know, continue to nurture your ideas. Continue to be inspired, although you may be fatigued and may not feel like that you can be inspired, but you know, the, the Empress is, is showing us that don't forget to be loving to yourself. Allow people to provide you with love and support. This could be literally a mother figure. It could be an older person who's counseling you. It could be a parent, a grandparent, an aunt, someone who is going to listen and Again, perhaps put you in a mindset to tell you to, to don't forget to be inspired in life and to count your blessings for what you do have. So through all of this turmoil and the need for support and for love, we have the Page of Wands, the youthful, playful energy of a page often brings a message or an offer. And the page wants excitement wants to be involved, he wants to do things and to, to feel the rush. And so in one way to deal with things that when you are having struggles is to find what speaks to your heart and feel what your heart wants and uh, take a chance and do it. Sign up for a class, study, make a call, go on a trip, do something that's going to put you in a favorable place of where you feel that you are able to express some of your enthusiasms or your passions. So interesting, interesting cards in that we see the sword energy and a couple of majors, but no pentacles. 
Now let's choose a card for meditation point or practice area for the week. True love, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Guinevere. So, allow yourself to be in position for the possibility, the potential of great love. It's always a pleasure to see a card like true love show up. And this card is for spiritual or emotional self. Trust. Trust your inner guide. Trust your path. You know, you're, you may be following a, a path and, and this may be telling you you're, if you trust yourself to take an alternative path. There's the safe path and then there's the path of your heart. So this is trust yourself. And just let me say back to the Guinevere, you know, we do see love within this 